All right, guys. Well, today I'm installing trail brake controller, which you don't really need this. It's fairly easy. It's nice that it comes with it, but uh, because the bracket <coughs> module, three screws, and the button, and <coughs> the mounting the bracket is probably the most difficult part. Bracket goes right here, which is right there there's a bolt hole there there and then right there on that corner piece um i think these side two are fine that one's a little tricky it's fine with two bolts but some people say you can go through here with like an extension and a universal which i don't think i have here but you can go through here with the universal, like down here in the corner, and get to it. Um, that's what the instructions say anyway. Yeah, the top forward bolt might be difficult to get to. Swivel bit and extension through the panel opening. <clears throat> but uh, otherwise, it's easy. The plugs are already down here. And the plugs are right there, wrapped up. And the plugs are already in the center spot. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off, which is just two screws down here. It's a screw here, a screw here. Take, I'm going to take that off so I get more access, and I'll be back. All right, with the panel off, it gives you more room. Here it is. There's a bolt hole there, there, and up there. The bracket just comes up here. Ow. Just comes up there like that. And then the module just cl actually clips into it. There's the plugs. It's just wrapped up in foam so it doesn't make noise. So I'm going to work on getting this mounted. These are the screws it came with. They're 7 millimeter. But uh, one thing you want to do is pre-tap these holes before you even put it up there because they aren't pre-tapped. Which means take your drill run them in and out a couple times through all the little holes so you can have a better time screwing them in. Uh, you want to do that with all the bits too because I've did it with one but you can see they don't they don't really all screw in in it. Only the one that I pre-used screws in fairly easy and then it doesn't always do it. But anyway tapping the holes will make it go in a lot easier. Alright that screw in and tight that screws in and tight. That one I couldn't get in and used a zip tie. <clears throat> this one, I just reached up through the back side, started it, got it almost all the way through, and then took threads and with my fingers spun, spun it through. That top one, <clears throat> I reached my hand in through here, and then reached my hand over this metal bar and right behind this metal bar is where the hole is so I just stuck my hand down through there my, my right hand not my left hand and I was able to get that started tightened up and I was even able to get a quarter inch wrench down through here and tighten that one up that one at the bottom I had to use a um, couldn't get my ratchet back there I wish I had a seven inch wrench but I don't I do at work, but not here. So I just used a pair of pliers and tighten that one. That back one is actually right there. You can see the zip tie. Oh, well, right there. You can see the zip tie. I tried to get the bolt started by reaching my hand through there, but this wiring harness right there is in the way. So you can't really do it. <clears throat> anyway, and you can't get that back one through the bottom side either wiring harness is in the way so anyway I took this off which is easy if you just have if you don't have the center console there's you take the pad out of the top um, the little rubber mat and then under, under that rubber mat there's these two bolts through the top took those off and then you just pull it off and take all the electrical connectors off now I'm gonna go ahead and mount the uh, mount the box because it's super easy
here's the brain box and it literally just clips in I think it goes on the top goes up top and clips at the bottom and those two wiring harnesses plug in here so get the two electrical connectors out of the way take the box take the clips that are up at the top put these two front ones in that little slot there or maybe it's the two back ones yeah. these two back clips clip them into the hole and then take this little clip down here snap it in and there's that now I'm gonna take this off got this off now take the one with a bunch of pins and slide it in the top take the one that has like four pins or six pins or whatever slide it in the bottom and that's it for the brain box now we need to install this button in here so there's a bolt uh, screw here 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 and here and then there's a couple little clips on the side and it pushes forward and then we can get this piece out all right here's this like I said here's the clip here 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 and here you just push from this side while you pull these tabs I pulled these two first it levered in then I pushed these two or pulled these two and it pushed out now to get the blank out two tabs there two tabs there I'm just gonna take my flathead screwdriver go between the blank and the outside and it just pushes out and pushes out the front here's the blank and here is this it just slides in how the old one did take it and there we go and there it is all snapped back in screwed in and there it is I'm gonna go ahead and snap this and screw that back up because I'm done with that and then I'm gonna go ahead and take that plug it all back in and snap all that back together and then I'll be back with Alpha OBD and we'll program it. Alright, got the key on, got the controller and everything on and connected, got the OBD link in, in the vehicle, got my cheat sheet, and I got my Windows laptop. And you can do every everything I do here is the exact same on the app. It's just slightly different. The app just looks different, but Bluetooth, RAM, RAM, body computer, and then you just, you know, select your year model, which whatever your year model is, which mine is an 18, and then it's literally the same, connect, and then go to the hood. But, I'm using the Windows laptop because I've had better luck using a laptop than I have the app. The main thing was program programming mileage and hours for this 7-inch uh, EVIC. If you're going to... Honestly, if you want to invest, if you're going to be changing a lot of stuff, I would recommend just go ahead and if you already have a, a laptop that's got Bluetooth or pick up a cheap Surface tablet or something, go that route. And if Android's the only option you got, that's fine. Pretty much everything can work with the app except programming a gauge cluster. Uh, there was an update sometime in 2019 that broke the gauge cluster programming, and it has something to do with Bluetooth capabilities between the phone and and the the OBD link, um, which a laptop does not have that limitation. Once I, I pulled out the laptop, did it with the laptop, instantly everything programmed. I spent like two hours on and off with my phone trying to get the gauge cluster program and it never did. So if I'm going to program something, I usually fall back 
and use a laptop because I know it's going to work 100% of the time. Anyway, so open the app. <clears throat> My Power 18. Connect. Got OBD link. Connect. <clears throat> it's connecting up. up. Oh, you didn't see that, but it is now connected. So you go over to the hood. Now you go over to up here. Go all the way. It's not what I want. Go all the way down to the bottom to car configuration change. Go down to settings and type in. You can also type in stuff on the laptop. Or not on the laptop, on the uh, on the app. You can also type in stuff. So, then you want to go down to Customer Set Menu, Trailer, select CSM Present, and select Yes. Click Start, or click Next anyway. It says current status is no. Change it to next. Procedure complete. I'm going to do it again just in case. Or maybe let's do stop and then let's go again. Yeah, just, just for confirmation. The current status is now yes, okay. So now you go here and select trailer name CSM present. Go over here, select yes. Click start. Current status is no. You want to change it, select next. Procedure complete. I want to do it again just because. Now it says current status is yes, no change necessary. Come back down here, go to, I did trailer name, trailer type, trailer mode. Selected value, yes. Start. Current status is no, select next. Procedure complete. And for grins and, grins and giggles, okay. Status complete. Now go to PT Chassis Net. Uh, there's somewhere way down here. Here you go. PT Chassis Net. Uh, PT Chassis Net Trailer Something Something uh, Trailer Brake Module. PT Chassis Net, it's a pretty long name. PT Chassis Net Integrated Trailer Brake Module. Go down here, select Enabled. Start. Per currently is not enabled. Now go to Enabled. Procedure complete. Do it again. It's enabled. Now, stop. Close down the app. Go down here. Take the module out, turn the key off, pull the key out, open the door, close the door, go to your home, oops, go to clock, oops, nope, timer, set a timer for five minutes, and let everything go to sleep for five minutes, turn it back on, and hopefully it works. Alrighty, everything's on, got the key on. Park and break engaged. And come down here. Open close it. That works. Gain works. And you go. Oops. Trailer brakes. Has your distance traveled? And then has your main trailer brake 
controller screen. Oops, wrong buttons. I stand corrected. I'm in my settings menu. And here is trailer select. Trailer, trailer one. Oops. Trailer one, two, three, and four. Trailer name. Uh, trailer boat. Car, cargo, dump, equipment, flatbed, gooseneck, livestock, jet ski, motorcycle, snow, travel, utility, fifth wheel, which, okay, I have a utility trailer, I hope to have a car hauler, probably sometime early next year, anyway, fixing to run out of battery, but everything's here, you select a trailer, you customize your gain and everything, and then you can go to trailer two, change all that up, and then you can swap between trailer one or trailer two, or whatever you name it, car hauler, utility. And you can go to a car hauler or utility, and it will know your previous settings for each one of those trailers. So, cool. Okay. So, I'm satisfied. Um, and that's how to install the trailer brake controller, and the programming, and my battery's fixed to run out, so I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.